This is Acer Iconia M10 and today I'll show how you can perform an initial system setup on this device. So first select the language that you would like to have the setup and consequentially the system in. I'll go with English. Then should you need any vision settings or uh, accessibility enhancements, make sure to open the vision settings selection or list and well, do whatever enhancement you require. Now press the start button, read and agree on the well Acer user terms or to be exact the end user license agreement then press next. Here connect to a Wi-Fi network or you can continue with the offline setup I will personally set up a Wi-Fi connection to show you more, um, well, configuring steps, just to cover even more ground here. So I'll go with this network. Let me input the password off camera real quick. So as far as I can see, the tablet is um, struggling to set up the Wi-Fi connection, or actually, never mind, it eventually managed to, so. We can continue with the setup for now. Here, as you can see, we simply gotta wait. So let's actively do that. So on this step, uh, you are presented with an opportunity to copy your apps and data from a previous device or if you want to set this tablet up as a fresh new uh, well device just select the don't copy option in the bottom left corner of the display next select who is going to use this device either adult or a teen or perhaps a child and if you will select the child you will also be required or will be um, presented with an option to set up parental controls, but once again, as for now, we'll continue as an adult or, well, just, yeah, as an adult user here. Now you can sign into a Google account or skip this step. Uh, for the sake of covering more ground, I will actually add the Google account. So let me quickly input my credentials off camera once again. Yep, so the Google account has been successfully signed into. Agree on the Google Terms of Service, privacy policy and so on. Now wait for the system to get your account information. Shouldn't take long here. Now select which Google services you would like to enable, backup device data, location, location scanning, uh, sending the usage and diagnostic data, and installing updates and apps. I'll just enable all of the presented services here, but the choice is yours. Should you not want to use any of those services, you can switch them off. Now select your uh, default search engine. Let's say I'll go with um, DuckDuckGo, for instance then press next. Now optionally you can lock your screen with a pen, password or a pattern as you can see or you can leave your device uh, unprotected should I say and skip this step for now. You will be uh, able to set up the screen lock later in the settings at any point in time so well if you should you change your mind you can always uh, enable the screen lock. Now you are asked if you would like to switch on the Hey Google voice match for the Google Assistant, which will uh, listen to you actively and launch the Google Assistant uh, every time you say, well, Hey Google, I'll skip this step and uh, leave this option disabled for now. Then you can uh, decide whether you would like for the Google Assistant to work on your lock screen or if you'll press skip, uh, it will not be active on the lock screen. You can also add the uh, cards or payment information to Google Pay or skip the step for now. All the steps that you'll see here, um, you will also be able to configure later in the devices settings. So no worries if you change your mind, you can always configure stuff. 
Now once again, let's wait for the tablet to get ready and this time it didn't take long. And as you can see, the device is all set up and ready to be used. So that would conclude this video, guys. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.